What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, also go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and uh, click that notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, y'all. Hope y'all doing good. Thank you for clicking on the video. Let's get into this topic. Now, you all remember the video I did on this pastor right here, Pastor William Randall down here in Florida. Well, he knows his fate now. Uh, the former Florida pastor will spend 20 years in prison after pleading guilty to sexual battery last month. In 2018, Pastor Randall was arrested and charged with four felonies related to sexual abuse of a child between the ages of 12 and 18. The charges related to more more than one alleged victim. Now, you all remember that Pastor Rando pled guilty to only one count of felony sexual battery in exchange for prosecutors to drop the other three charges against him. However, prosecutors did not offer him a negotiated sentence. Now, Pastor Randall's attorney hoped for probation. However, Judge Don Lester ultimately sentenced Pastor Randall to 20 years in prison, more than the sentencing guidelines of nine years. Wow. 76 years old and you're going to prison for 20 years. Now I'm going to let you all watch this video and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary and y'all I feel like talking some mess today so watch this. A former Clay County pastor says he's quote absolutely sorry for his past actions involving sex acts with a child but today William Randall was sentenced to 20 years in state prison. And before covering that breaking news tonight, our Robert Bradfield was in the courtroom and spoke with the victim's family. That's a story that's all new at 11 tonight. With those words, William Randall made his case in a Clay County courtroom for probation after his 2018 arrest and last month's guilty plea for sexual battery of a minor. Randall, who is 76, was sentenced to 20 years in prison. The state says Randall had several sexual encounters at his church and the victim's home. The girl's family says it started when she was 12 and lasted six years. The defendant very quickly turned his house of worship, his house of prayers, into a house of horrors. The victim and her mother spoke in court, calling Randall a devil in disguise. The victim, now 25, says Randall stole her innocence. His defense attorney asked the judge to consider Randall's life as a pastor and his previous community activism before sentencing. I do believe that there is a level of performance. This is the beginning stages of trying to heal. The victim's family spoke to us while leaving court and says the 20-year sentence provides them some closure, believing Randall won't become a free man. The state responded by saying he show, showed a little or no remorse to the victim and that he used his position as pastor to commit the crimes that he pled guilty to. The defense requested time for him to get his affairs in order before going to prison, but the judge denied that request. And I spoke with the victim's mother after the sentencing who says they do feel relieved and are pleased with the sentence. She's been going through a lot. Yes, she's depressed a lot. Um, I got her seeing a counselor. She's going to take a vacation now. This is over. She wants to take a trip, and she deserves that. And again, the defense wanted him to have time to get his affairs in order. No details on what those affairs were, but the judge did deny that request, and he will do 20 years in prison. We're live at the Clay County Courthouse, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, the local station. Thanks, Marilyn Parker, looking all good right there. I will take it from here. All right, y'all, let's go in. Now, first of all, let me say this, let me say this. I did not think they were going to give Pastor Randall 20 years in prison. I thought he would get what the sentence guideline said, which was nine years. But the judge said, no, this family is still suffering. The victim is still suffering. And she did speak in, at the uh, court hearing. Uh, Pastor Randall is 76 years old. 20 years? He's going to be out when he's 96. He may live to be 96. I don't know, you know, but uh, let this be a lesson to all of you all who use your position of power to uh, prey on victims, especially in religious institutions. I, I say this all the time and I will continue to say it. There are a lot of creeps. There are a lot of pedophiles, men and women who pray, P-R-E-Y, on people in the church. They pray on children in the church. And when we talk about this stuff, you all get mad at us. Us vloggers, you get mad at us and tell us, why are we bringing it up? Why are you talking about it? 
I'm going to talk about it because the judge talked about it. I'm going to talk about it because the attorneys talked about it. I'm going to talk about it because the news talk about it. And that's what we do on Dawson Speak TV and Dawson Denise. We report the news again. I'm not running from this stuff. And just because you don't want to hear it or it brings up some trauma in you or some triggers that you didn't take care of. Tough. Because there are children right now who are suffering. There are adults who are suffering, men and women. They can't be in in good relationships. And when it comes to intimacy, forget it. Some of them were turned out. You all don't want to talk about that. Oh, get them spirits out of the church. No, get the pedophile spirit out of the church and start at the pulpit. The pedophiles in the pulpit. Start with that. All of these fake prophetess and prophets in the church. And all of them getting on YouTube, lying to y'all, telling y'all all all this fake stuff. None of them can point out the important stuff. You can't point out the man who beating his wife, the ones who molesting his children, because some of them doing the same things. You can't point out the ones who turn into little boys out and the girls out, the prophetess, the prophetess of all prophetess. You can't point out them. And these musicians, you can't point, you can never point out them, but y'all can point out everything else that's going wrong. And then you don't want us to talk about it. But I'm going to say something about it. And what I'm going to say is leave these children alone. Leave these little boys and these little girls alone. Stop turning these children out in church. And you parents, you guardians, stop allowing your children to go everywhere with everybody. Stop being so trusting. As you all heard in the news clip, they was like, we trusted him. He was the devil in disguise. Everybody should be the devil in disguise when they come to you and your children. Stop trusting people. Now, Pastor Randall is not the only one going to prison. Up in Illinois, a youth pastor was sentenced to 15 years for having an inappropriate relationship with a teenager that lasted four years. Yes, Pastor Roger Van Raden used his position of power as a youth pastor to sexually assault one of the members of his church. The pastor of that church. The members. The family, they trusted Pastor Van Raden only to find out that he was a pedophile. You all stop trusting these people. Please look out for your kids. Take care of your kids. I'm off of this subject, but let me say this. I got news that Mother Anna passed away. You all remember the story I did on Mother Anna who had the house of prayer along with her husband and he passed away and then they continued the house of prayer, which was almost like a cult, a church or whatever, and how they abused all of those children. And one of the children, I think it was in the 80s uh, or early 90s, he um, he was murdered, basically. And Mother Anna went to prison for that. Uh, she was sentenced to 30 years. Uh, I knew Mother Anna wasn't going to make it when I saw her in court. Uh, she died with, I think it was like 40, 45 days later while she was in prison. Y'all, I, I don't feel any sympathy. I don't. I hope Mother Anna made peace with her maker. And, you know, that's all I have to say on that part. But I hope that her uh, her daughter gets the help that she needs because her daughter is the one who turned her in and the other victims uh, that they're getting therapy and everything they need because they went through a lot of trauma being in that house of prayer ministry Uh, to the people who helped Reverend Anna or Mother Anna. You all need to be, I hope the FBI continue this investigation because they have another case with her that uh, they've opened up. And the people who helped her abuse those children, I hope they catch you all too. And if you all are in your 70s or whatever, I don't care. I don't care. They need to catch you all too. Y'all do right by people and, you know, and be safe out there. And you won't have to worry about this stuff when you're in your 70s and your 60s and you, you know, you don't all the hell you done did to other people. Now it's come back to get you in your golden years and you're around here wanting people to have mercy. And the answer is no, we don't have mercy. You go have a number and a seat in prison. Goodbye. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace.